Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Eunice. If you're new here, today I wanted to share with you how you can create a mood board using Canva. Mood boarding is essentially a process of gathering images and organizing them into a cohesive theme. And I love doing this before starting any creative project because it really helps me collect inspiration and visualize the aesthetic that I'm going for. And Canva makes this so easy. This video is not sponsored, but Canva, if you are somehow magically watching this video, then please hit me up. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I created a mood board for an online wall art shop that I am currently ideating for. The very first thing that I always do is create a Pinterest board and collect images that I'm attracted to. Since we're ideating for a wall art shop, I gathered some artworks, frames, and gallery wall images, and I also added in some graphics and elements like lamps and flowers that I would really imagine in a room filled with the wall art that I'd be selling. Doing this also helps you discover what you're into. For instance, I love organic shapes and textures, complementary pastel colors, nature, a mix of vintage and modern, and art that feels very effortless and has a touch of youthfulness. Once I was happy with my pins, I saved the images that I want to use on my mood board to my computer and then I went ahead to Canva and started a new design. I'm eventually going to be printing out this mood board, so I set the dimensions to the size of the cork board that I'm working with. Next, we're going to upload all of our images to Canva. As you can see on the left, Canva recommends templates based on the dimensions of your design, and they also have a bunch of templates for specific designs like thumbnail art, brochures, Facebook event covers, and a ton more. I'm going to be using pieces from some templates and other elements to create this mood board from scratch. So in my design, I started a new page to dump on elements that I might use. I searched in keywords like mood board and collage, specific elements like flowers, vintage, ripped paper, as well as scrolled through some of Canva's featured elements. And having a throw-on page like this makes it really easy to quickly build up your mood board and not have to commit to specific elements earlier on. And once I had my elements ready, I started a new page for the actual mood board. And I started with this textured canvas image as the background. I really love this a lot. Um, and then added several images to start with on the board. Canva Premium has got this background remover feature that can crop your images out for you. And this is so useful for mood boards, especially if you're creating an interior design board and need to crop out those furniture photos. And then I just started dragging images around and playing around with it. I started with the bigger images first and used the elements that I collected on the first page to add layers. Like here, we're adding this ripped paper and some tape to this gallery wall photo so that it looks very scrapbooked on. I really enjoy mood boarding because I get into such a flow and I start noticing things that go well together like styles, colors, and textures. And it's also a really fun artistic challenge because you're considering the balance and composition of the images as you're um, moving them around and figuring out where to place them. While on Pinterest, I got really inspired by line drawings, especially when used for city landscapes. I love how it's so simple yet detailed and I eventually want to try it out myself so I saved a couple of these. Um, and then I also found this diagram as well that shows how you can use lines in different ways and how to mimic different textures with lines. I totally remember learning this in high school and finding all of this really hit a very happy memory nerve. Near the end, I went ahead and added in more layers using the little tapes and patterns that I'd saved. And then I added in this blue image as a bottom layer to balance it out with that top right blue artwork. 
lastly, I touched up that gold frame using the background remover tool again because it had overly cropped out some of the frame. So what I also love about this tool is that you can add or remove parts that it cropped out. So I went ahead and filled in parts of the frame. And then I changed that graphic text to art at home as I play off my channel name. And we have our mood board. I love how this turned out and I think this represents the ideas that I gathered really well. Let me know below what you think about mood boarding and if it's something that you like to do as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to see more videos from me. This was a little different from my home related videos but it is a process that I like to enjoy for a lot of my creative projects and I wanted to share that with you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.